Hello, Loveland, and we are here today. This is Cassie Mattia at the Firecracker Festival. Now, it hasn't started yet, but I know a lot of you are wondering what is the Firecracker Festival. So I do have a couple special ladies here with me today, some really strong business women, which I'm always excited about. I'm going to go ahead and let them introduce themselves. Go ahead and introduce yourself today. Thanks, Cassie. I'm Cece. I am the president of the Little Miami River Chamber Alliance. All right, and who are you today? I'm Meredith Taylor, and I am the program director of the Little Miami River Chamber Alliance. Awesome, awesome. And so so basically why we're here, guys, is we wanted to bring you out to the spot where we're going to have the Firecracker Festival. Um, what is it? Tomorrow and the next day. But because the details aren't exactly clear on my behalf, I'm going to have the experts explain it here today. So let's dig deep and let's let's kind of find out what the history is behind the Firecracker mm -hmm. Festival. How long has it been going on? And also, what got it started? Yeah. Go ahead, Cece. Thanks. Um, it started about four years ago, and um, we had expanded as a chamber about three years ago. So we started um, in Loveland at the time, and then we moved the Firecracker Festival to Sims. There are bigger parks. We could expand with the rides. And in a minute, Mira's going to tell you what all we have going this year. But that's really where it started is in Loveland. And now we see it as, it's really cool because we see it as the kickoff to the 4th of July weekend, if you will, or week, because I know it's on Thursday. So we're going to get started on Friday. And uh, we have all kinds of great festivities planned for Friday, live music, the rides that we're standing behind in front of and behind. Oh, yeah. And uh, we will have cold beverages because it's very hot out even today, and it's going to be projected to be hot the rest of the weekend. And uh, we have a petting zoo. We're going to be having um, a flag retirement ceremony, and I'll stop there. But yeah. these are things that we've had for years. And um, so some of the same traditions that folks have seen over the years. But then um, from Friday to Saturday, you have the Firecracker Festival. And then everybody scoots over to Loveland for the Independence Day Parade and festivities over there. So Which, that's a little bit of history of kind of how it's transitioned over the years. And we're going to be using both parks this year, which Meredith is going to tell you about as well. So oh, we're very exciting. excited. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and toss it to Meredith. Um, I do want to go a little bit more in depth on the activities and what's new this year. And then also, in your words, you know, what does the Firecracker Festival mean to you? And, you know, do you bring your friends and family and whatnot? Yeah, thanks, Cassie. Um, so the Firecracker Festival is a really fun event. It's a really family-focused event. I myself have two little kids, so oh, it's going to be really fun to bring them here. I've already texted my husband that there's Dumbo rides for our two-year-old. Um, so it's going to be a really great event, I think, for any families in the area. And as Cece mentioned, this is for Sims Township, for Loveland. It's from Mason. Whoever wants to come, like, you are welcome to come down. We want you to be a part of this great event. We have a couple of different bands that will be performing both on Friday, new bands on Saturday. We also have a clogging group that will be performing on Saturday afternoon, which is a new activity for this year. One of the exciting things that we're doing this year is we're actually expanding it to two days. And so as Cece mentioned, we really want to take advantage of the parks here in Sims Township. And Sims Township has been great partners with us as, we, as we've been planning this event. We've literally started in January, so lots of thought went into this. And we are doing our second annual Firecracker Car Show, and that is starting at noon on Saturday, and that's over at Home of the Brave. And so we're hoping to have a good amount of cars. If any car you want to show, if you have a classic car, a current car, you have a brand new 2019 you want to bring out, we'd love to see you. And then we're also doing a Touch a Truck event, and the Touch a Truck event will also be at Home of the Brave, and that is at noon, and that goes until 2. So that's a great event, again, for kids to come out. We have about eight different vehicles that kids can literally get in the driver's seat, honk the horn, kind of feel what it's like to, you know, be in the diggers, um, as my son says. So it's going to be a really fun event. Again, all ages will be covered here, so we're really excited for that. Now, uh, as I'm looking around here, I did see some food trucks, mm -hmm. right? We have some food trucks, um, you know, beverages. Let's talk more about the booths. What booths do we have going on? I know I just went to the uh, St. Columban Festival last week so i'm looking forward to those booths and i'm sure our audience is what kind of booths are we going to have here 
I'll talk beverages and I'll let her talk right. food. How's Susie's that favorite. sound? Yeah. <laughs> um, so we will have a little bit of everything for, for everyone. We have um, some soda. We have some water. We're going to have craft beer. We'll have some wine. We're, we have White Claw, which is a, a favorite amongst some folks. <laughs> and then we have domestic beers, um, also a, a uh, crowd favorite. So we'll have all of that ice down, ready to go, cool people off. And um, we can't forget about the fireworks. We talked about rides. We talked about um, the petting zoo. We've talked about the flag retirement. We've talked about inflatables that no cost. So we're just going to have a ton to do. But fireworks will start at 945 that Saturday. Okay. Um, so that's the 29th. So don't miss that. And to Meredith on food. <laughs> so we have more vendors than we've ever had for any Firecracker Festival this awesome. year. So it's going to be a jam-packed event. Um, so we have 21 different food truck options, both food trucks and um, tents that will be set up. Anything from um, one of our favorite trucks here in the Loveland area, Kona Ice, will be here. We've also got local ones. We've got um, California Tri-Tip. We've got East Coast Eats. We've got Great wow. Crab Cakes. So we've got a lot of options for food. And then we also have business vendors who are coming here to get some exposure for them. And they could be local, they could be an a independent owned business that maybe they're just selling some Americana gear. Again, great ready, get you all set up for the 4th of July. Come get something to wear for the holiday. Um, you can get your face painted here. So you can also come and see, there's one vendor that's selling garage doors. So if you're in the market to get a new garage hey, door, there you go. we're your, your uh, one-stop shop for that. So come out and check them out. The food truck and the businesses will all be intermixed so you can okay. literally you know grab your hot dog or whatever and then go check out the new garage store that you need <laughs> nice. i love that i love all the locals supporting locals right so one of the things i do want to touch on real quick and this is mainly just because i want to put it out there to the community i want to talk about how hard these two work to put on these events um as business women as mothers I know you are Absolutely. mothers and just as supporters of the community and once again they're women and I love that so Thank let's you. talk about how long this takes mm -hmm. let's talk about how much it's put into and um, you know you can get the short version you don't have to go through the months or weeks or whatever but just kind of press mm -hmm. on how you know this is tough to put together and it means a lot for this to be successful so it does Cassie thank you and, and that's very kind oh, yes. um, and uh, you know one of the things I like to press upon people also is as Meredith said we have businesses out here and we don't do this just to do it there's there's a purpose that it brings vitality to the area and to the Sims Township area so that's number one num mm -hmm. reason for doing it and then we invite businesses to get exposure out here and so th those are two really pivotal reasons that we put these on and um, but yeah it does take she said we started in January so we m met with Sims Township and our committee in January and said what do we want to do what do we want to add and what do we want it to look like this year so we're always tweaking to try to improve as well but um, yeah it's it's probably been a good 10 hours a week since January and um, with many other events in between mm -hmm. but it, it's fun we love to see the families come out it's um, it makes it all worth it. It really right. does. And we love to see the businesses gaining from it and certainly the economic um, development that it brings to the area, the vitality it brings to Sims Township. I, I so. totally agree. Yeah. What are your feelings on the same thing? I would say, yeah, to echo Cece what she said, one of my favorite parts is I work with the vendors, so I've gotten to have some really good relationships with the small businesses in the area, right. businesses that I wasn't even aware of that are going to be part of this. is really great to get them exposure, to be a part of this, um, and as well as the food trucks. It's kind of a joke in our office that the food trucks and I, we are, we're pretty mm -hmm. tight as we do a lot of events together. So they're wonderful to work with. We love working with the Food Truck Association here in Cincinnati. Um, our sponsors have been great help as well so we're super thankful for them and we have a lot of volunteers this event couldn't happen with just the two of us oh, so yeah. we're thankful for all the volunteers who are coming out to help as well it's a great part of the community and really gets everybody kind of again revved up for for the event that's that that's awesome now um before we uh do our secret challenge that we're gonna do we're gonna do a little challenge on the fun slide over there um what i want to touch on real quick is just one more rundown of the schedule just okay. the times, the days, and that way we can leave them with that and they'll be coming on down. I'm a smart woman, so I'm going to let her do that. <laughs> do what you gotta Pressure do. is on with this two-day event. Okay, so we kick off tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That is Friday, June 28th here at Sims Park mm -hmm. on North Lebanon Road. And we kick off at 4 p.m. 
So all of our vendors and everything will be set up. Rides will be going. Drinks will be flowing. So that's at 4 p.m. We end at 10 okay. tomorrow. And then we'll kick off at noon on Saturday. And there's lots to do on Saturday. So at noon, you can go to the car show or mm-hmm. to touch a truck at Home of the Brave. This festival will be open. So if you want to come over here and get something to eat right. or do something fun. And then we're going to start off entertainment then at 4 o'clock on Saturday. So it's kind of free play okay. on Saturday afternoon. Obviously, the playgrounds are going to be open and everything. Splash pads mm-hmm. open at home of the brave and then we have um a performer at four o'clock the cloggers i talked about we have a band at five o'clock another band at eight o'clock fireworks as we mentioned will be at 9 45 on saturday so lots of questions about that so if you want to see the fireworks come on saturday and then let's give a little shout out to those two bands who are the two bands that are coming down we have uh, as she mentioned showboat <laughs> cloggers um will will kick us off and then we have model behavior there you go um we have oh, dangerous gym dangerous gym the slims and the string theory band okay cool because i, um, I wasn't sure so yeah. I, I just was yes. sorry. wondering <laughs> no, no big deal, yeah. no big deal. go to www.lmrchamberalliance.org for the full schedule as well and it's yeah. also on facebook and yeah. she has that posted uh they have it on their social media we have it on ours lovelandmagazine.com so what we're going to get down to now is we're going to do the fun slide challenge and uh apparently meredith are you challenging i'm going to do it and our intern josh he doesn't yeah. know it but he's going to gonna challenge me as well (laughs) so last thing i want to end on before we go and do this guys please come out to the firecracker festival it's not just beer and shenanigans of that nature it's really to support the community the businesses and just let the children and adults have a good time together as families see you guys later and uh thank you guys thank you Oh my god!